If you're black and you're a Jew, my question to you is where is your black Jew Hebrew school? Check. If you're black and you're a Jew, because not all black people are Jews. It's a question or actually part of a conversation and some questions were along with that that we was having on the on the the radio show that Lawrence Davis first vice president of Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated our my brother president you know he has his platform on WVOA radio give thanks from 8 from 8 to 9 p.m. one of the captains from ISUPK captain Azania was on there as well after i think two or so weeks the last two um, Shabbat, Sabbath eves, or really, it's really after the Sabbath, was Saturday evenings, it was with um, Brother Yaniv of the Ben Ami community, the African Israelites of Jerusalem, one of the names that they were known as, and very, very ear-opening, very, very much an ear-opening discussion was having there, and that brought us right here to further to further expound on this particular point because there's a lot of faulty and pseudo information being disseminated concerning we the black Jews and Jews and blacks and so forth and so on and this is intentional this is intentional that there is a lot of pseudo information and some of the main points was even checking out something that I think Tommy saw that my oral had did we got some fire because we point out some things he said was right but if we hear the truth and the truth is the truth right also disputed with the isupk at least on that point the home of the truth you know what i mean because you may have some truth but it's obvious in the way that we were being reproached for the fact that we say we the black jews for the fact that we hold to our roots the royal order of ethiopian hebrews this is a historical fact you see, we can't just erase our history of who we are. Who does that, right? Even the other Jews or the Jews who call themselves Jews. And now this is also another very important point and question, you know, to be asked and answered, right? Does that verse there in Revelation only apply to so-called the so-called white Jews or the pale Jews or so forth and so on? No, it doesn't only apply to them. It can also apply to a lot of black people who may be ethnically Judahites or ethnically Israelites according to the true genetics right, but don't want to have any part of the Brit of, of the covenant they don't want to live by the covenant but my question to ones and ones that want to say woo 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 look what Nick Cannon did you know look what Nick Cannon said they're going to do something on Nick Cannon a follow up to that as well we had the video as we mentioned a little bit earlier that we had posted concerning the terms uh, Semite and anti-Semite what are their real origins who coined these particular terms and terminologies because within the so-called black community and the so-called pro-black and the black consciousness and even the black Hebrew Israelitish and communities amongst different ones having these discussions it's like ones and ones don't even know what's the origin of these particular terms haven't done some of their basic some of the basic homework and just because one is you know a Semite they were uh, if we take this term biblically contextually speaking first of all we have to say well where did this terminology come from people say it's a biblical terminology can you point to us uh, scriptures and verses how many scripture and verses can you point to in the Bible where it says, oh, the Semites such and such and such, or the Hamites such and such and such, and the Japhethites such and such and such? What's happening, right, the most deceptive form of propaganda, but what's happening in COINTELPRO, counterintelligence, that once is regurgitating, regurgitating European or trying to flip certain, we could say, Western, Gentile, whitewash, European terminologies, and are further confusing the already confused people. But if you are a black and you say you are a Jew, well, where is our black Jew Hebrew school? Where is the school? Where is the education? You see, and not all black people are Jews. Right? Some people say, well, the blacks are Jews. Well, yes, ethnically, if we look, use these terminology, ethnically, 
right, historically black and brown peoples, but that doesn't mean that all black peoples, all black peoples, right, are not Jews or Judahites, right? All Israelites, <laughs> all Israelites are not necessarily Jews or Judahites. We have to understand what these terms really, really mean. Some, even as, after the broadcast and the podcast, um, got a call or two or so, and ones were, you know, even kind of expounding and reasoning on it a little bit more. And one had said um, something to the effect of, oh, well, you know, for the so-called white Jews or the European, the Khazari and so forth and so on, the, the, the ethnic European, we could say Jews, who are really not really Semites according to those definitions, unless you really claim that they are Edomites or Esau, but according to where Khazaria is and the Ottoman Turks and the Hittites, there seems to be a Hamitic relationships. It's when we're getting into the real knowledge. Now, some say that not everybody is really into this. Well, you don't have to be into the truth for the truth to be truth. You have to come up to the truth. You have to come up to the level of the truth. And if you if you don't, well, there's consequences, you know, ignorance. You know, there's a, there's a price for ignoring these aspects of the truth. But now, because of what, you know, Nick Cannon had said the firestorm. I think there was a couple of other ones. There was Ice Cube and there was a next, I think, an athlete or, you know, ones out there. And it reminded me of what Barhana Selassie, a.k.a. Robert Nesta Marley, or better known as Bob Marley, said, you know, you know, they, they always know how to reach us and they make one, you know, one black person, you know, you know, either become like an elected official or even president, I think he said, you know, president or, you know, mayor or something like that. And next one star of the movie is a star of the movie. And the next one, you know, you know, become some, you know, famous sports star or something like that. And therefore, you know, the... I have to say this, the dumb, deaf, and blind, you know, the dumb, deaf, and blind, because there's no reason that black peoples and black people, especially in the Americas and the Caribbean, are not better informed about it. But they like to avoid, when I say they, let's not be too generalized, the majority, the overwhelming majority, the ones that are, woo, 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 look what Nick Cannon said, but look how Nick Cannon turned around, as we said in the broadcast on the WVOA radio broadcast hosted by Lawrence Davis, we said that, okay, we haven't we said enough about this Nick Cannon? Or is it, oh, Nick Cannon, he's taking a veil off of people's eyes. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Really? Really? I mean, he haven't heard other, um, uh, some call them master teachers, but you haven't heard other black, pro-black, um, whether it's, Ma uh, you know, going back to, we go back to Malcolm X, but I mean, that's a bit far for most ones, but even Farrakhan and many others are out there. Even different camps of the Israelites have been out there and their videos are very popular, you know, on the YouTubes and elsewhere. So people know you know, who they are, what they stand for. And so certain basic knowledge and information has been, we could say, regurgitated. So it's, it's nothing we knew that Nick Cannon really said. And we had to go and check out the, the fuller clip for ourselves. And when we heard the fuller clip for ourselves, it was like, so what? So what? So what? I mean, I think the real point is that he basically backtracked his particular statements, you know, to a certain extent, brought on one of their, you know, brought on one of their um, rabbis or whatnot like that to speak and so forth and so on. And we said, I think in the broadcast, we said, we said he's compromised. When we say he's compromised because of, you know, being a part of that whole entertainment, we call it, you know, Babylon, you know, being, being part of the system, so forth and so on. He's a lot of stake. He had um, Professor Griff on there, you know, basically, you know, regurgitating his, you know, um, information. But that information right there is not the things that black Jews, you know, if we black people are black Jews, what we should be learning, what we should be studying, what we should be about we're not being about. This is another proof that many of you all use black people, no doubt, are ethnic, ethnic Yehudi, ethnic Israeli or Israelites. No doubt. There's no doubt about that. Because we look at the prophecies, you'll prefer Baal. 
going after Baal, Balaam, the system of things, and when someone who is already compromised with the system, isn't Nick Cannon the same one from America Got Talent? I know I'm speaking a lot about Nick Cannon. This one right here, this one's really about, well, if we are, you know, black Jews, if we black people, if we black people are Jews, because in Captain, their captain from the ISUPK, he was like, you know, like, we can't say, oh, woo, 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 we can't say that, you know, we are Jews. You know, we can say we are black Jews. We can say we are, they allow us to say, who, who's, who's they? Who's they? So because some so-called celebrity or somebody out there, very popular out there making money, that's, that's very important, you know, to those who have a love of it, you know, and a very poor use of it. You know, because they say something that more or less gets certain groups like the, we could say the, the European or the white Jews or the Khazarian Jews or the Edomites. You know, it's all these terminology of those who say they are Jews. But there's many black folks, too, like black people now saying, we're the Jews. We're the Jews. It's not about religion. It's not about, you know, the scriptures. It's not about any of that. It's about our ethnicity. It's because we are I mean, I mean, how do you really qualify? This shows the lack of education about basic things. How about this? Who teaches your children? Do you teach your children Hebrew? Do you teach your children Torah? And see, I'm saying this in 2020. We go back 100 years ago, we have communities like this right here that you see in the video, the still right there from the window. It says, Royal Order of Ethiopian Hebrews. They say, oh, they allow us to say that. Oh, they allow us to say that. Are we past 400 years or we're before 400 years? Is this, is this um, 2020 or is this 1820? You know, I mean, I mean, I mean which, which century, which time are you really living in? You know, some just like to go around the same old mountain. Right? It's not for us to keep going around the same old mountain like with the Israelites in the wilderness. Right? Going around the same old mountain. Right? There's a generation that was... Uh, uh, afraid or scared of moving forward. This is like black folks. Black folks recognize or they hear this. They say, oh, we're the Semitic people, Semitic people. There's a lot of different, quote, Semitic people who are not Jews, who are not Yehudi, who are not Judahites, who are not Israelites. And this is according to the Bible. You see, most black folks with the Bible like to get a little song, a little dance, a little hype up, but not to do the in-season and out-of-season work that it really requires, right, to build up ourselves in our heritage. If, our, if this is your heritage, then you would invest in your heritage. Where are the black Jew Hebrew schools. We're not saying there's none that are out there, but where's yours? If you're a black Jew, oh, oh you're just a Jew because it sounds nice. Say, oh yeah, yeah, we're a Jew and they need to give us the, the money. They need to give us all the money they stole from us. Obviously, you don't know what you're talking about. And if any of y'all are, you know, part of these camps that say, yo, you're preaching the Bible, you're the home of the truth. How is it that you're not putting the truth forward to the people because the people, you'll say about how the Jews, the so-called European or the white Jews stole, you'll say, well, the, well, they stole our identity. Is that the truth? Is that the scriptural, biblical, historical, factual truth? So His Majesty said, Gurmawi Nugusin Nagas, the King Messiah said, the most deceptive, the young people are victims of this most deceptive propaganda out there. Right? A machinery of propaganda has been put forward. And from what we have seen and heard so far, what, what, what Nick Cannon and others are talking about, well, we're not going to say others, we're focusing on Nick Cannon right here. You know, seeing that he's so quickly about face, and part of the reason why is because. He is, you know, he has contracts, there's, there's debts, there's consequences, there's obligations, so forth and so on. Some think that, oh, well, he'll make more money if he comes away from that. You really think so? Uh, really understanding the condition of the lost sheeple, the lost black people? We like to hear like a good sermon or hear one say, yeah, we're this and they stole this from, I, from us and blah, 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 blah. And we get all hyped up for a moment and then go back to the cooning and buffooning. Going back to the same old kunin and buffooning. 
They say if you want to hide something from so-called a Negro or black people, where do you put it? You put it in the book. And this is amazing because the information that we really need is right there in the scripture in the Bible and some of the basic information, the basic information, not the hype up information, the basic information that we need about who we are, where we're from, how did we really get in the situation, and, and what is our responsibility? I think in the Torah it says in Devarim, I think it also says this in Waikra, in, Le, in Deuteronomy and Leviticus, if even when the people, we peoples are in the, like the Americas and the Caribbean, and these lands of our captivity, if we would confess, you get that right there? If we would confess, see, most folks don't want to confess. You know, in the streets they say, fess up, just fess up. Would confess what we have done. It's easier, right? It's easier to, to play this little, this, this little kind of crybaby blame game. Oh, whoa, 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 they stole it from us. And then those of us who are applying ourselves to the dissemination, right? Precept on precept, line on line, here a little and there a little. You know, we post our vids, our vlogs, so forth and so on, and people go after the dumbest, the most backward, you know, kind of so-called um, nigger, Negro entertainment kind of stuff, right? I get caught up on all these nonsense points and really don't invest. Talk about, oh, look at the schools, you know, um, public education. Since when do we as Jews, as Yehudi, and we as the black Jews depend and deep and on public and check this out even with black peoples in the americas even leading up to these great achievements of black wall street so forth and so on just use that as an example right there we wasn't depending on their this is all before public so-called school education if there was anything public about our education it was in our segregated whatnot communities right where we had our own people teaching our own children and we can see the results of that we didn't just 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 um sacrifice our children to molech right the public school system or to bail and to bow, we didn't sacrifice them like that to the system of things. We did for ourselves, and then we can see the fruit of the doing for ourselves in such things like Black Wall Street. People talk about, oh, look how they tore down Black Wall Street. Look what they did in Black. Well, how come, how come we haven't done that again? Or even before doing that again, where are the museums? Like they have the Holocaust museums. See, we're going to tell ones and ones and explain to ones and bring the information exactly how things changed up. And things really changed up significantly for black peoples roughly around the time of the, the fascist invasion of Ethiopia. And then the aftermath of that that led to World War II. And, of course, with what is called the Holocaust. It's when the whole, quote, Holocaust came about when the whole you could say world orientation about who was the jews see before that people looked at the bible right even people who didn't love or like black people and they recognized oh that's ironic that, that's really i'm talking about black people in the americas and the caribbean because like we said not all black people not all melanated black and brown so-called peoples are yehudi or jews or are israelites and not all Shemites or Semites are Yehudi or Jews or are Israelites. See, we just think we can just get this kind of like blanket term, this, this coverage, right? Because for the past maybe 100 years, well, almost 100 years, definitely more than 60 to 70 years, black people have been on this kind of like, um, you know, these kind of like affirmative action, these kind of like welfare systems, you know, like where, uh, what do they call it again when they have a class action, like a kind of a class action thing. Another fault among a lot of the, you know, black people of this generation, we think we need, we, we need a bunch of numbers, you know, because the white man and the world says there's, there's strength in numbers. But, but see, what does HaTorah what does Torah, what does Chokmah, what does wisdom teach us? What does our 
directions, instructions, our Torah, our direction, instruction, what does our Chokmah, our wisdom teach us? You really don't know. You really don't know. You know, at best people know a little bit about the Bible because of the black churches, but they are also playing, for the most part, the Balaam game too. I was even checking out some T.D. Jake stuff, and I said, you know, he does touch on some things, and some, but what he does is he touch on it enough to swerve the point. I recognize that. They touch on it enough so, so then the people who listen to him say, oh, yeah, 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 I know about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't tell me nothing about that. And it's to keep these, these niggas in the coop. <laughs> You know, to keep them, it's like what's going on with this whole um, Black Lives Matter and so forth and so on. That's another topic matter about socialism and the so-called Jews who say they are Jews, right? That's a double-edged sword right there, right? Because there's a lot of black folks now who are saying, oh, we black people, we the Jews. Oh, we black people, we the Israelites. Well, that's, there's a double-edged sword there. It's a double-edged sword there. You, you, you should done know there's a double-edged sword there. And think about this. Even when ethnic Yisrael, right, the majority of black and brown people, even when they knew themselves, could prove their heritage, their ancestry, so forth and so on. I'm talking about before these 400 years, right, and, and, and even, you know, before 70 A.D., right, and, 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 and also before, we could say, the Babylonian exile, Right with the Yehudi, the Southern Kingdom, and also before the the Israelite exile into Assyria and the lands beyond, did not the people, our people, our ancestors, know who they were? Didn't they know who they were? So having the knowledge of who we are, okay, we are Yehudi, we are Israeli, we are Israelite, we are Judahite. But it comes a response. What's the response ability? Do you have the ability to respond to that claim? Do you have the ability to respond to, to that claim? You know, to respond. I'm not talking about to respond to people out in public and in social media. Because that, that's easy for one to, you know, do memes and post out stuff. But to do the real diligent work of study to show yourself approved. Right? You, you, you want this taught in public schools, right? When are you going to take the private responsibility in your community? That's what built the, the Black Wall Streets, right? And that's the reason why you say, oh, look, look at the Jews or the, 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 the Khazari and the Ashkenazi or the other, you know, the other, the European Jews, right? The ethnic European Jews. Oh, they have these things to, you know, commemorate you know, say the Holocaust from, you know, several years ago back in the, with the 40s and stuff like that. They got all of this going on and they have this taught in school and so on and so on. And how come we as black people don't have it? It's because of white supremacy. No, it's because of black inferiority. Right? And as long as you don't get into the teaching, see the Torah, ha Torah, the Torah is our wisdom, the direction, instruction. Isn't that what you say that they have done? You say that they stole that. The scriptures say, and Hashem says, that you threw his word behind you. You gave up your name. We gave up those things. I'm saying that our ancestors, our ancestors gave up those things. And other peoples, right, picked up those things. Right? And now we see these other people who have picked up these things, or some of y'all see the other people picked up these things, and you see how it can force multiply even with a small group of people even amongst a small numerically speaking a small group of people and here we're trying to get everybody everybody as a black person because that's the proof see the consequence of keep running that mantra you keep running that magic you keep hypnotizing yourself with this lie this lie of white supremacy that is a lie it's a lie and the lie, scripturally, biblically speaking, is of who? Is of what the devil? Is of the devil, right? So here we are, right, as the chosen people, those of us who have received and those of us who have made that positive affirmation, or one may say claim of being Yehudi and Jews, we the black Jews of the royal order of Ethiopian Hebrews. Right, of the lion of the tribe of Judah, the tribe, get it, the tribe, right, the tribe, and the tribe is not just here in America, because he scattered us to the, to what, the four corners of the earth, and he says that David, 
that we, David, will never lack a man to sit upon the throne. This is one of the big errors of a lot of these Hebrew Israelite camps. But then it kind of makes sense in the COINTELPRO view. If you think about it, it really does make sense. It's a, it's a counterintelligence, right? When we should be doing these things, right? We're spending time doing those things. Like, for example, in the broadcast, we were speaking about the Nick Cannon, and Nick Cannon thing, and, and Nick Cannon, and Nick Cannon. Oh, Nick Cannon's opening up people's eyes. Oh, and making excuses for him when it seems as though he turned, turned around, crawled back, apologized. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then when I check out what he really said, that was a distraction. That's a distraction here in the year after 400 years, and many of you still don't get it. They know these things. They hear when many of us have said over the past several years that we're coming into this particular time right here, and even pointing out the details in Scripture and prophecy. But, but see, y'all don't want that. Often I've said that if I happen to be a so-called white Jew, right, preaching and teaching, exactly what I'm teaching, they would accept it because what says no prophet has honor <laughs> right in his own hometown among his own people. Right? But instead you'll spend time, you know, even on the internet watching all this this garbage information, this pseudo information, all this hype up information, right? That all you get is a bunch of feelings and emotions, but nothing that you really can use to build yourself and to build your family. We, we spoke about this before with the Torah, you know, and our brothers and, and thank you to the Habarim, I and I fellow brothers, even if it's few. If it's few in number, remember Hamushiah, Yeshua, Robeinu Yeshua, compared to some of the other, you could say, um, like the rabbis and some of the other, the other groups, like the, compared to some of the other Israelite, the camps, and everything. Oh, they have a lot of numbers. They have a lot of numbers. Yeshua, Robeinu only had what the twelve, right? The twelve, the thirty-eight. They say holy woman and the 72 apostles, about 120 or so in all. But it was a very small group, right? So it's not about the size, right? I'm talking about the size of like you think you need a, not a lot of people, right? You need a, a, a lot of people to make a difference. And yet the proof on the ground, right? The proof on the ground. Others have claimed this identity and have applied themselves to the study have applied themselves to the application and the living, the living and living out of that study. That's why we ask the question, right? If you are a black Jew, where is your Hebrew school, right? If you're a black Jew, let's, let's begin off with the, you know, with the basics, right? Let's begin off with the basics right here, right? You could begin off with, um, what's that, Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 119. Psalm 119, let's just deal with the baby Hebrew right here. Aleph. Aleph, the first, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Aleph, Ah. Aleph, Ah. Beit, Ba. Gimel, Ga. Dale, Da. Hey, Ha. Wow, Wa. Zain, Za. Chet, Cha. Tet, Ta. Yod, Ya, Kaf, Ka, Lamed, La, Maim, Ma, Nun, Na, Samek, Sa, Ain, A, Pei, Pa, Sadi, or Sadai, Sa, Kof, Ka, Reish, Ra, Shin, Sha, Tao, Ta. There you go. There you go, right there. Let's start with the basics. It's right there. Turn your Bibles. No, y'all should have a Bible, access to a Bible, and to Psalm 119. Psalm 119 is an Old Testament. It's um, roughly around the center of the Bible. All right? Psalm 119. Psalm, in, in Psalm 119, you have tw it's 22 letters. 22 letters. Now, of course, in the Asherit, the later Hebrew written form, people want to argue about, oh, well, it's not paleo. This is the most ancient. This is the most ancient. This is the most ancient. And still, you don't even know it right and accurate because you don't apply that time. It's just a hype up point to go out there, you know, and, and, and look at me, look at me. No, what we need to do is to look at Torah, right? Apply ourselves to the Torah. 
apply ourselves to the Torah portion, the reading and feeding. It's that sort of discipline. It's that sort of discipline that makes the difference. The difference in who we are, right, and what we're able to do, how we're able to secure our families, our fortunes, to prosper, to move forward, and to stop, keep going around this same old mountain. Oh, white supremacy. Like I keep saying to you, not all black people, right, not all black people are Israelites, not, you know, are Israel. Not all black people are Yehudi. Not all black people are Jews. Is it true that ethnic Yisrael, scripturally, biblically, historically, are black and brown melanated people? Well, of course. Kinky, curly here. People, of course. But of course, but of course, but of course. Of course they are. But not all black peoples, even in the ancient world, not all black people just came to the Torah portion completing Chazak, Chazak, or Nita Chazik. You know, be strong, be strong, make I and I, make, make we be encouraged. Chazak, Chazak, Wanit Achazek, or other Yehudi will say, Vanit Hazek, Vanit Hazek, right? Wanit Hazek, right? Let us be encouraged, let us be strengthened. We say this whenever we complete a book of Torah, right? A book of the direction, instruction, the five books of Moshe, the Pentateuch, the five volumes, so when we complete the book, we just completed um, the fourth book, Bamidbar, right, Hebraically Bamidbar, also known as Numbers, literally in the wilderness, and there was the command to take full vengeance on the Medeanites, it reminds me of these the, the, the Mohammedans, you know, these Mohammedans, they also enslave and were, you were enslavers of our people, of Yehuda, of their own brother. I mean, it says so even in the prophecy concerning Ishmael. Ishmael, he'd be a wild ass, a wild donkey, a wild Democrat, a wild ass of a man. His hand will be against every man, right? And, you know, his hand be against everybody else, you know? So we had to take vengeance right against peoples who are a little bit earlier i think i got the the a link from our chaplain right our chaplain ross tedros tedros and he had sent a link on our biblical amharic uh, whatsapp page and he says kind of interesting like how like the whole thing about the amorites coming from um um canaan from canaan from canaan and um, how earlier Abraham, Abraham, Abraham ha Ibri, Abraham the Hebrew, Scripture says he was um, he was allies. They were allies together, right in that war. You know the four versus five that we call that like one of the first um, world wars back in the days in Genesis and everything. And also when they got back, um, Lot, you know, Lot, Lot, Lot was a lot of trouble, so forth and so on. You know, Lot was an in-law. You know, even though Lot was related to Abraham, he was his own fleshy, but not, not really spiritually, right? Psycho spiritually. And see, we have to get past this, this kind of carnal mind. You know, one time Rastafari, the true Rastafari, said, I and I not want, right? I and I not want no carnal mind, right? Got too much carnal mindedness. Right? Instead of, you know, we can see with the fleshy eye, oh, that person is black, so, so that's my brother. That's not the qualifier. That, that can no longer satisfy a forward moving people. Right? There has to be, you know, we answer. It's like that old commercial on TV. Some of you are old enough might remember it. Um, look it up on the YouTube, see if it's out there. They probably have it out there. Hebrew National. Then that one, Hebrew National. They were right about this. We answer to a higher, right? We answer to a higher authority. We've got to answer to a higher authority other than our flesh or, you know, saying, well, when the white man comes after us, you know, he ain't going to say you are Hebrew, you are Israelite, you are more, you are that. So we all got to see, see that, that was the failure of Israel. I'm surprised that even some Israelites, you know, and seemed to, you know, seemed to be this is what the brother was even trying to say to, to a certain extent, you know, would even say such a thing. You know, but when you start to hypnotize yourself with a lie, like white supremacy, 
it can only breed as a, a knee-jerk reaction, a consequence, black inferiority. All right? Black inferiority. When you start to, you know, because it's a lie. But the truth of the matter, we need to study and know for ourselves. So if we're black Jews, or if you're black Jews, where's your Hebrew school? Right? Do you teach your children? Do you teach your sons especially? But your sons and your daughters, do you teach them Torah? Right? Do you teach them before you let them go off to the, to the Gentile, to, the, to Baal schools? So how do you ever expect to achieve anything even of the measure of a black Wall Street again? Those black peoples, this is before affirmative action, the civil rights, before the civil rat race and all of that, before the rat race and all that began. When black people, well, you know, it was a really fubu back then. Like we, for us, by us, we did for ourselves. Maybe we was forced by the overt racism and prejudice of the time. But we took a good opportunity of that. And it showed an example that when we are willing, you know, when, when, when one's will to make our wills obedient to good influence and to avoid evil is to show to show and prove the greatest wisdom all black people you know are not israelites are not hebrews right are not jews and if we and if ye are black jews where is our black hebrew school just 22 letters just 22 just baby hebrew once again Abba Gada Ha Wa Za Ha A Ya Ka La Ma Na Sa A Pa Sa Ra Sha Ta